innovation has become all the rage. Everyone wants to be an innovator or innovative. I've never really thought of myself that way. Conceptual innovators tend to have this sort of flash of inspiration. Think about Mozart in music or Picasso in painting. And then the experimental ones, it sort of creeps up on them and it's over a long time scale and it, it, it typically happens later in life. Cezanne in painting or Beethoven in music, I'm both in a way because I have these flashes of inspiration. And then you have to work out over time what the hell that means. So I think I'm a bit of a blur between the two. I think having both the conceptual angle and the experimental one is absolutely crucial because we're not short of new concepts. I mean, you think about the circular economy, you think about the sort of concept of regeneration, which, you know, Walmart now have sort of pledged themselves to become a regenerative company. Who would have thought? So it's relatively easy to come up with the concepts and everyone now wants their concepts because this is going mainstream. Everyone wants to be able to compete. They all want their own story and branding and positioning and so on. But the experimental piece is absolutely critical because unless you can work out how to deliver against those new agendas and expectations, it's so many words.